Bella, welcome to Bello Uncineto. I am Christina, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. So today we are here for a very special episode. Uh, we're going to talk about this loveliness that you see before me, as well as a couple of other things. Just one moment, please. All right, my apologies. It wasn't that long for you, but it was a couple minutes for me. So this lovely, as well as a couple of other things that I'm going to share with you, are the reason for this video. Um, as you know, my beast Nona, my Nona Delia, she is the one who taught me to crochet. Now, she is my beast Nona, which is my great-grandmother in Italian. However... I called her Nona Delia because she would not allow my grandmother to be called Nona while she was alive. And by the time she passed away, I was so used to calling her grandma that I just said grandma instead of Nona. Now, was that right or wrong? I don't know. My four, five-year-old, nine-year-old, ten-year-old, you know, self, I had, I just said, si nona, si nona. <laughs> and that was the end of it. You didn't, you didn't argue. Um, however, um, these were some of the things that were sitting around my nona Delia's, um, apartment, um, as I was learning to crochet. A lot of these things um, are very old, uh, much older than I am, uh, but I wanted to share them with you. Uh, my dad's sister is the one who sent them to me. She had them and she was downsizing um, as you do when you get older and... Um, need to, you know, find things, uh, new homes. Uh, and she knew that I crocheted and that my Nona Delia and I, which was, was her grandmother, all uh, right, they were, we were very close. So she wanted me to have these. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you all of them in the video. Um, because some of them are a little bit large, but I did take pictures of them and there will be a slideshow um, going through them. I don't know any of the stitches or threads or any of those things, but I did want to show you a couple of them um, while we are here talking for a little bit. Um, there's this one. It's a rectangle and the, the sunburst. They're very beautiful. Um, I absolutely love this one. Uh, I love all of them, but this one speaks to me in particular. And then there's only one that is not sort of this color. All of these are, I don't know if they were white at one time, but now they're sort of a cream color. <laughs> um, so there's this one and then there's this one, which is yellow. Now, I don't know if the yellow is showing up on the camera, but I did take a picture and hopefully it will show up in the slideshow at the end. But this is sort of like a windmill pattern. I'm trying to see if I have it upside down or not. Sometimes with these things, I can't tell. Oh, there, you can see the yellow there. It's a very, very pretty yellow. Um, but this one... Uh, just because it's still, I mean, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is, that was upside down. This is the right side. <laughs> um, I don't know what color it was originally, like the yellow of it, 
but um, it is still pretty bright. Um, it's, I mean, it's, I wouldn't say a dull yellow. I would say a muted yellow because it still is pretty vibrant. Um, and I just love all of this beautiful work. I mean, it is so lovely. Um, and, uh, there is, let me see, there's another one. This one has a little bit of color. It's rectangular as well. It does need some starching, but it has a, a cream color and then a very distinct, oh, that's upside down, sorry, very distinct white um, border and difference here. So you have the white edges and then you have the, the cream and the white then the cream and then the white in the middle. So these were folded um, up in a box when they were sent to me. So um, they do need a little bit of pressing. I am very afraid to press some of them. I'll show you them um, because they are very, very thin. And I mean incredibly thin. I think yeah, that one was upside down. I think this is, or backwards. This is the right way, I think. I get confused with some of them. Yeah, this is the right way. It's very pretty. I can't stop touching them. I'm so excited to have them. I've had them for a little while, but in all of the moving and everything, I tried to keep them as safe as possible. Just one second, please. Okay, I don't know if you can hear any of that, but my daughter and her friend are playing, and it sounds very much like they are hurt, but they're not. Um, so there is this one. Let me get it. Here we go. There's this one, and there are several that are like this. And look at this, like, look at this, you guys. Like, I would be so afraid to, like, press this in any way. Like, I wouldn't want to. Just look at that. It is so beautiful and detailed and gorgeous. Right? Hold on a second. So, the detail in this is just... Like, if you stretch it out, you can see, right? And I am, I am so scared to do anything to this because I don't want, like, it needs to be, like, out, right? But I'm so worried about messing it up, right? And then there's this one that, again, oh, sorry, it's very, very thin, but like the work inside there, like, look at that. Look at that. Right? But it is so thin. I'm so, so scared of <laughs> messing it up. Like, and it is so gorgeous. Right? So there's another thing that I want to show you that I got and I'll be right back with that. So this is a picture um, of my, this is my bisnona, this is my pop, and this is my bisnonu. Just a moment. Uh, and he passed away before um, I was born, but... This is my pop when he was very little, when they were still in Italy. And this is the lady right here who made all of those lovely things. Now, this is not how I remember her, of course, because my pop was very little here. Um, and I do not remember um, her in this way. Um, this is my nonna and her family. Right, her brothers. And let me get the other picture here. This is my nonna and her husband, my well this is my bis nonna and my 
um, uh, but uh, again, I did not know him, but I knew her, and I remember some of her like this, but this, this is my nona. This is the woman who taught me to crochet. This is how I remember her most of the time. Um, and this is the face that I, I grew up with. I just thought that, you know, my aunt had sent me these photos and these doilies. And I was so grateful to be able to have these things, but also to be able to share them with you all. This lovely lady right here, you can see, right? This was her cake when she was 92. Happy birthday, Nona. And um, I am just so blessed to have known this woman and to have been able to spend time with her and to be able to have these photos um, and these items. I am just so grateful to, to have them. So I hope that you enjoy the slideshow and I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, these pictures and this look into some of my family history. As always, be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. Ciao, Bella!